Hey Virgo, welcome back to another episode of Your Love Life, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy my readings, personal reading link is in the description box below. All right, everyone. So let's get into this and see what messages you have for November 2024. Okay. So you're starting with Butterfly, by the way. Hello, everyone in the chat. And hello to the mods. Okay, so Butterfly. So you have relationship that is evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. You also have a healing heart energy here, healing from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or an addiction. And you also have camera. Rem re reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, making memories. Wow. Okay, Virgo. So I feel like this week is going to be really profound for you. Okay. Um, there's definitely a healing energy of thinking back on the past, uh, a letting go, or maybe there's already a letting go, but it's kind of like coming to an understanding of some kind of a relationship that you were in, in your past. Okay. Or maybe currently where it's some kind of a heartbreak, but stitching up the wounds and maybe even getting to a place of uh, learning the lesson okay now let me see here I feel like when it comes to a relationship evolving to the next phase uh, let's take a look here what is this all about some of you uh, may already been be in a new relationship and it's helping to heal your heart. All right, look at that. Ace of Pentacles, beautiful, beautiful. I do see that. Now, if you're not in a new relationship right now, uh, I'd see that happening in November, okay? Um, some type of connection that you have with someone that begins to soar. And a lot of this relationship, I feel like, helps to heal you in some way and it feels like maybe it's healthy all right let's see let's get a little more information oh yeah look it could be with a water sign for some of you but this is getting in touch with your emotions this is nurturing your heart healing a lot of healing vibes happening here um supporting yourself uh, having support or a supportive person around you someone who's tolerant and empathic and, and it's really, it feels like it touches you in some way. It, it releases all these beautiful energies that you have within yourself, like who you truly are, which I feel like you are very empathic and you have deep emotions and deep feelings. Now, this relationship that's evolving, it can very much be a romantic partnership. It can, and it could be new. For some of you, you may not have met them yet, um, but this could also be a relationship with someone very close to you, um, where you're getting closer, maybe in a platonic way. So it's a it's a very healing. Uh, very, I just saw the Eight of Swords, okay, which makes me feel like you're healing up some type of restriction um, or restrictions from your past. Toxic relationship could be your past romantic partner. Toxic relationship could be a family member. Okay, let's take a look. All right. Yeah, it's a slow growth. So it's okay. Um, it's not about how fast you go. It's about that you just keep going. And that's kind of what I feel like is happening here. Yeah, there's the devil. So some shadow work, for sure. All about addiction. All about struggle. All about um, maybe some obsessive, something obsessive or some type of sexual lust. Okay, Capricorn energy there. So yeah, I feel like it's a slow process that you're your uh, this journey that I feel like you're on, but you're you're moving. Okay, may not be going as quick as you like. Some of you might be like, yeah, I just want to get done with this. But as soon as you as soon as you if you rush your healing, you miss all the blessings. So take your time, and if that's an advice, so be it. But some of you are, and you're. Kind of like, uh, just in, I don't want to say enjoying the healing journey, um, but trying to see the blessing and the silver lining in this. 
All right. And part of this, listen, Virgo, part of this healing, you have the lovers here. Part of the healing involves you not forgetting about how, so, okay, let me rephrase this. If you're healing from um, a relationship with a romantic partnership, someone that you loved, part of the healing, I feel, comes in the form of, you know, Virgo, here's what I want to say. Your heart chose this person for some reason, whatever the reason. And what may have transpired in the end as a result of something ending, um, while it's important, you need to, I feel like the message here is to acknowledge your heart. So I want to say, if you're going through a breakup, like a recent breakup, um, I don't feel like it's fair for you, they're saying, to discount that person because if you're healing from this, there was a lesson in here that is crucial for you to learn. Okay, so you can't erase that person from your, your mind, okay? Eventually, your heart and your feelings and your emotions, okay, will subside to a degree. But there's no ever fully forgetting. Um, and I feel like that's really important, <laughs> I want to say. And... I mean, if there was a situation that was very abusive, you know, it's tough, okay? Because you have to deal with the after effects of that, of course. But I feel like um, every person that enters into your life and that you choose to hold on to your, into your life is some type of lesson for you to learn, even if that relationship has passed, okay? So looking back so i was talking i think i don't remember the other day how important it is to acknowledge your emotions how important it is a lot of people don't acknowledge their feelings they just want to suppress them because it's kind of fearful if they have to feel that pain again and there might be a bit of pride in acknowledging that you loved someone and they weren't loving you back and to actually accept that within yourself that you actually had feelings for this person uh, might make you angry at yourself for having feelings for someone who for whatever reason the relationship ended but you know what you're denying your emotions and that's unhealthy that is toxic okay you do have the king of cups here so you have two court cards that do have a connection to a water sign so it could be cancer scorpio pisces all right so i feel like the strongest message here and it feels like it's a reiteration of what maybe I said the other day, how important it is to acknowledge your feelings. If you loved someone, it's okay to love people. That's not a crime. It's a crime. <laughs> it's a crime to physically hurt someone. It's a crime to emotionally coerce someone. You know, that's actually a crime now. Um, but it's not a crime to love. And you shouldn't shame yourself for loving someone if something didn't work out in the end. And you shouldn't beat yourself up because your heart, the heart wants what the heart wants. The heart chooses because the heart's choosing, okay? And the heart doesn't use logic. I mean, if, imagine if the heart used logic all the time. There'd be no empathy. So I feel like the message is to have some empathy for yourself. Have some empathy for yourself here. Really, really important. Let me take a look at this devil energy healing from some kind of toxic situation okay maybe even trying to come to terms who was the toxic one you might be asking yourself that you might be you might be questioning whether you were the toxic one so it's, two things can happen simultaneously and be correct and if there's two people who engage in toxic behaviors in the relationship, then the relationship became toxic. Even their, even if their intentions weren't, or one person's intention, or both people's intention was to not have that be the outcome. Engaging in toxic behaviors creates a toxic relationship, right? I feel like you might be going through a little bit of, hmm, maybe, hmm, it's all them. Maybe, hmm, it's all me. Or maybe it was both of us. Or maybe you're determining that maybe it was the other person and it wasn't you at all okay but maybe you were reactive to that it really just depends and i'm not saying 
it's one or the other and or both i i don't know that's for you to determine but i do see contemplation here in this healing journey all right let's take a look at the lovers okay oh wow look at that the ace i'm sorry the eight of wands and the uh ten of cups hmm wow virgo so maybe something went really quick or there was some love bombing or something in those in that something to do with that i feel or there was a promise of a future and that didn't happen uh, something moved very quickly though that's what i feel something moved very quickly and it could have been someone that you were involved with was moving something very quickly or you moved it very quickly on them like i said you know your story better than i do let's take a look at um let's take a look at this this new the new energy a relationship that you are currently in or will be getting into whether it's love or a platonic like romance or platonic let's see this i want to i want to take a look at this this energy okay so there's someone who is either current or coming into your life who is empowering you okay the seven of wands this is an energy of kind of like teaching you or showing you um, how to have boundaries or protect yourself or stand up for yourself. And it doesn't mean just in love, but in all areas of your life. Standing up for yourself in all areas of your life. What else can you tell Virgo about this energy? This Okay, uh, King of Swords. Now this could be somebody, um, they're very, I wanna say, like totally honest this person can cut through see they have the sword this person can cut through the bs just as good as you because either they're it's a gemini and they're mercury ruled and they reflect back to you your truth uh, or it could be a libra it could be an aquarius but this person they're very strategic i feel like they come at you and show you some angles that you didn't uh, consider, but they also have this way, I wanna say of um, just getting right, they go for the juggler, like right to the point. Yeah, they're not, this is not someone who's gonna blow smoke, I will tell you that. They're not, a, they, they, they may even be so direct that it could even be a little shocking that you might even get a little defensive with them. What is this person's intentions or motives with Virgo? yep to bring truth and clarity this is the number one reason for the this new relationship or this person you're currently dealing with not after a break or after a separation their intention in november is to just cut through the bs to bring new ideas to uh bring up conflict in order to um I don't know i'm hearing like role play like okay i'm gonna throw some conflict at you and now you have this new knowledge how are you going to defend yourself or how are you going to stand up for yourself it could be a, like a therapist for some of you um i feel like this this person's intention is to help you cut out the the get that splinter out that's it's almost like you can't see it but it's embedded in there and it's painful that's their intention hmm now okay is this going to like what is tell me more tell virgo more about this oh look at all the sword energy i'm not kidding you i feel like this person is really trying to help you change your life make better life decisions make some kind of a lifestyle change I just get this sense this is someone who just gives it to you straight they don't there's no bs with this person they're not trying to manipulate they're not trying to hurt you they're not doing anything they're kind of like i'm, I'm just hearing Cher's voice from moonstruck which says snap out of it this is their energy you need to snap out of something here virgo i don't know what do you need to snap out of 
that maybe the, this contemplation of, of being confused, maybe as part of your healing journey is maybe you're blaming yourself on fully. You know, it takes two to tango. I don't care what anybody says. Okay, I don't care. In, in either direction, it takes two to tango. Whoever's the offender and then someone offends back. If, if one person isn't walking away from this and they're making a decision to stay in a toxic relationship, then they are also playing the role. Okay, and I don't mean to like victimize anybody here. But I feel like this person has very good intentions towards you. They don't want to see you suffer. They want to help you either get back up on your feet or stand up for yourself or see things differently. Very, just when I said that, see things differently. That's the hanged man. Gaining a new perspective on a situation. Some of you might seriously be blaming yourselves 100% for why something didn't work. Maybe the blame was placed on you. Or maybe you were made to feel punished. Um... Virgo, I hope you I hope you connect if you're not already connecting with this King of Swords. It could be a friend, you know, whoever it is. I hope you connect with them, and I hope that you uh, don't get offended by them. This person does not. Uh, I want to say what's the word? They don't sugarcoat. That's hard to deal with sometimes, you know. But I know you, Virgo. Virgos are like, give me the truth. Don't sugarcoat the bullshit. Give me the truth. I don't want to take a bite of a pile of poo that's covered in sugar dust. And then after I eat that, it's just, it's nothing but a pile of poo. No, give me the truth. And I feel like, so that's Pisces energy. And, I, and you know, <laughs> Pisces are good at seeing things from a different perspective. So this person might have some Pisces in their chart somewhere. So there might be a tiny little, like their intention is with empathy. But the hanged man is always, each and every time, pausing and going, hmm, and thinking about something, getting a different perspective. So I like whoever this is. They could even be another Virgo. Whoever this person is. They're just pretty much snap out of it. Don't be as don't be a baby. Come on, stand up for yourself. That's the message. And that's a message. That is the message. Okay. Look at that. Grief over betrayal or a sudden loss. Hitting rock bottom. In some type of some of you might want a reunion with this person. And they're like, you, oh, are you stupid? What are you, what's the matter with you? What do you want a reunion with this person? Are you out of your mind? What's the matter with you? <laughs> you need to pick up and leave. You need to be done. You need to set yourself free. Get out of this, get out of this situation and remove yourself from it. I feel like you've got somebody who's like, they're not beating around the bush here. They're not beating around the bush. This could be a brother. Or maybe a sister. This person is very straight to the point and telling you like it is. Maybe it's something you're watching on YouTube. They're not lying about anything. They're being completely honest. And it's not even so much about them putting the other person down to make you feel better. This is more about them saying, if you're not happy, you're not a tree. Pick yourself up and leave. <laughs> Okay, you can move, you can go, you can go forward. If you feel like you've been in a toxic kind of thing or you have any residual left over, snap out of it. <laughs> it's very, I don't know, it's very Gen X 80s, right? Snap out of it, just snap the fuck out. What's the matter with you? Where's your, where's your backbone? That's what I'm hearing. And Virgo's like, my backbone, I have back pain. My backbone has been stabbed over and over. No, it is still there. Well, look, probably you're going through a little bit of what's real, what's not real, having a hard time. So maybe you're in like still on this journey of um, wishful thinking, could be, and trying to juggle between reality and fantasy. I feel like for some of you, that's what it is. Now, now look, everybody's on a different place in their journey. Uh, some of you might already be past that and be like, no, it's, I've, I'm confirmed. Uh, I have no more wishful thinking. And some of you might be like, but wait, 
one minute it's like it was like this and the next minute it was like that so you might have a little bit of i guess they call that cognitive dissonance where the, the conditioning does not match up to the reality you know like so you stand outside and you see that the sky is bright blue and somebody comes along and and kind of says it's actually not blue um it's actually turquoise greenish and then is there something wrong with your eyes you need to go get your eyes checked and then you're like what and somebody's so convincing to te- to tell you that what you're seeing is not it's a little bit of gaslighting but tell you what you're seeing is not what you're seeing so you might be in this little bit of this oh but they were they you know confusion i feel like confusion that's a seven of cups having so many options that it's hard to really figure out what's real and what's not and juggling that about some kind of connection here whoever you were with okay hmm that's interesting i see there was hope some kind of hope for some kind of future hoping your wishes would be granted but i also see there's questioning about why there was withdrawal in the relationship or why someone abandoned or left or moved on or maybe even questioning yourself or there was some kind of retreat um yeah so you're definitely going through whatever you're going through here if, if you don't want to hear from the person who's giving you these truth bombs um that's your choice uh, i don't feel like the person who is kind of standing up like this i don't see this person standing up to enemies of yours with a big giant sword and fighting your battles for you i feel like they're trying to empower you to fight your own battles and, and not fight against others but fight for yourself this might be a brother or a sister they're just telling me or someone that feels like has that energy of 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 like a brother or sister you know like a healthy brother sister relationship where they look out for each other yeah so huge revelations coming to you in november being able to have rock solid clarity being able to like yeah look you have the tower like it just hits you look at this the revelation so whatever you're struggling with to make sense of right now you do have someone i feel like is going to be like t giving you truth and maybe like barreling it into you every time you talk to them um giving you a different perspective and i feel like if you engage with that per this person they're really and not necessarily tell you that the other person was bad but that maybe you had some blinders on you need to get real keep you need to keep it real in your mind yeah look at this clarity and revelation shocking truth about the conflict about some type of conflict this conflicted mind that's what it is the the conflict in your mind will become very clear to you and won't be causing you all this anxiety i feel like some of you have a lot of anxiety and stress and it's related to this conflict or conflict of mind it's causing you a lot of anxiety that's fine it takes a while for you to level out virgo when you're coming out of a relationship that and, and i don't feel like it was healthy like i said there was some kind of toxic dynamic to a relationship here and those types of relationships they can cause trauma bonds they can cause trauma they can cause ptsd maybe even complex it could just be adding to an already ptsd mindset from your past or your childhood you get clarity though and then you come to a decision and then you come to a decision a final decision there's either going to be a recognition of your role in it and theirs and then a compromise or it's a block and moving on forever okay not every person that comes into your life is meant to be your lover <laughs> not every single person right you don't want to project your desires and needs on another person if somebody's coming in as a friend that's all they're coming in as don't project 
if you get feelings for them, that they should be where you are. Not every person who comes into our lives are meant to be long-term lovers. Some are just meant to help us get to the next phase in our lives. Is this person showing up here, this King of Swords, like I say, masculine or feminine, meant to be a lover or a friend? Well, they're coming in in November more so as a confidant as as and could it turn into more of course but they're coming in more so as a confidant is there great potential for that to be more yeah sure i mean you know if it's like a brother or a sister then it's not going to be romantics and it's just going to be a confidant but if it's not a family member unless you i don't know she roll that way hey the world we live in anything's possible i'm not going to judge but <laughs> if this is not a family member um I mean, if it is, there's a potential to grow closer. But if it's not potential for romantic or romance to happen, absolutely. But I feel like the most important thing is the way this person comes in. As you're going through something here. And I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't um, rush, that this is my personal opinion, I wouldn't rush into another relationship when you're still regurgitating a past relationship. Um, that's like... It's like being in the middle of throwing up and going and having, I don't know, a piece of cake. Like, you're going to throw it up again. Like, you got to wait until all that shit's out of your system. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, seriously. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Here, like, hold on. I'm in the bathroom. I'm throwing up. As soon as I'm done, I'm going to come out there and have some shrimp. Yes. That's what I'm going to do. But if you have a virus, <laughs> now you got to ride that out. Okay, you got to ride that out, Virgo. All right, let's get a couple more messages here. What else does... What else does Virgo... Oh, hold on. All right, Virgo, what else do you need to know here? Hold on, yes. I am trying. <laughs> My cards are sticking together. Okay. What else do you need to know here? I love it when we're focusing on you and your healing. And like I have to say, wherever you are right now is exactly where you're supposed to be. So cut yourself some slack on your healing journey. All right, you've got self-indulgence. Your self-worth and value are at the top of the list right now. How you see yourself, how you value yourself, taking time to heal, doing that shadow work, like I said, and appreciating yourself. Self-appreciation. You know, you tell everybody, I appreciate you. But do you say that to you? Do you say that to yourself? Are you appreciating yourself? right? You've got a mask. You're wearing a mask, Virgo, hiding your true feelings, pretending. Maybe you're gaslighting yourself. Maybe it's time you'll take that mask off and get real with those feelings of love that you have or had for somebody. Recognize that if you had the ability to unconditionally love someone, show affection, um, they like the attraction energy be there and accept it um to love someone in their wholeness and that's in their entirety and to be selfless you should be proud of that if you're questioning whether you were um you know maybe a narc or something like that sure people who have narcissism can go to therapy they can ask themselves that question you see them get well they don't you know i mean listen Unless they're a psychopath, I just don't see it's possible. But I'm, we're not going to get into all that. The point I'm trying to make is take the mask off. Accept that you loved someone, even if that relationship became toxic. Doesn't mean that you can keep and you have to keep engaging in loving someone unconditionally um, without having boundaries. You know, you have to have like you have to have a sense of yourself. Because unconditional love, I feel, without boundaries is codependency. And maybe take that mask off if you're wearing one. 
Um, stop hiding your true feelings for yourself. Start loving yourself, Virgo. Start loving yourself. Oh, the butterfly. Wait, just the way we started. Beautiful. Evolving. Growth. The next phase. Healing the inner child and releasing the past. Sometimes the best way to release the past is to just love someone and let them go. Because if you're hating them, then you're still holding on to anger. But when you're loving, when you just love and accept that person and let them go, um, then, I don't know, it just, it's something to do with processing your emotions and your feelings and loving yourself. Yeah, so they're saying... It's okay to look at the pictures and to reminisce or to be nostalgic or to miss someone as you're going through um, some kind of a separation. It's okay to do that. Everybody, like, everybody has keepsakes of their... <sighs> Not everybody. I don't want to say that. But sometimes when you go through a difficult separation, um, sometimes... For some people, they want to just get rid of everything, and chuck it all in the garbage. And then there's other people who just want to put it all in a box and store it away because they just can't, you know, deal or the reminders trigger. And then there's people who get past all that and then um, they don't force themselves to forget. Um, but if the, tr if the memory comes up somehow or some way, they can look back on it and say, well, that person was a part of my life and here's the lesson I learned from it. And I'm free to move on and I'm or I'm happy where I'm in paradise where I'm at I have happiness and joy and I feel playful like you'll get to that point I feel like this is kind of some transition like I said in the other reading when you're transitioning to a new phase of your life you will be um, I feel like you will have someone in your future there will be another person definitely I don't feel like you're going to be alone. I don't know how old you are, but I mean, believe me, I have 80 year olds that call me. <laughs> Seriously. And they're like, what's going on with my guy? We're in the nursing home and he just keeps hitting on Martha over there. Every time he sits and he plays bingo with her, I just don't get it. <laughs> Doesn't he love me? Am I going to be stuck in this river? <laughs> I love you all. I really do. But you, you would listen. You're on that side listening to me here. But you have no idea the calls that I get. Seriously. I don't care if you're uh, from zero to 99. Everybody's having some kind of relationship problem. And you are not the only one, Virgo. Trust me. And just because they get older doesn't mean they change and they get better. <laughs> They're just the same person in an old body. <laughs> It's all about growth and maturing. Growth is maturing. It's about maturity. And we are all where we are. Some of us are in our 40s and we are still acting like we're 18 year olds. And some of us are in our 40s and we're acting like we're 80 year olds because there's so much wisdom. You might be one of those old souls, you know, Virgo. But at the end of the day, <laughs> you got to just be happy with yourself. Like at the end of the day, you got to be able to sit alone and say, you know what? I really like myself. Like I'm awesome. I'm not perfect, but I am progressive and I am a good and I am awesome. I'm not always a good person. I'm not always a bad person. I don't even like good or bad. You know, we're, we're just complex beings and we go through our, our own little quirks and our emotions and things like that. Just because something doesn't work out with someone you take the lesson and you move on and you explore until you find or come across someone who you're in alignment with like i guess it doesn't have to be all that serious i want to say although it may feel like it is and i'm not trying to say to you that you shouldn't feel what you feel i feel like you should and i feel like you should get into those emotions so that they don't get suppressed all right, let's take a look at the Chinese signs. We'll see what yours is. Virgo's Chinese sign here. All right, year of the pig. You might be born the year of the pig. Year of the dog. Year of the monkey. Year of the rat. Year of the rabbit. Year of the ox. 
Year of the Dragon, and Year of the Goat. Okay? Oh my goodness. All right, messages of love, Virgo. All right, children are important to this partnership. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally, Virgo. But the connection might be <laughs> strictly sexual. It could just be passionate but not enduring. Lesson to be learned there. Look, like there's just like Virgo let me just tell you because this is like so conflicting this is your mind was this my soulmate I said are we gonna have kids or someone want kids I don't want kids or, or wait is it just strictly sexual or is it gonna is this is this relationship gonna move forward this is part of your conflict were they really my soulmate did they really respect me did they really love me unconditionally or was they just after sex with me did they want to get married um, or maybe you might be saying maybe I shouldn't have been intimate with them a lot of conflict this is your conflict here and that's fine you're going to get some truth because you're in denial Some this, this king of swords is coming in with a truth bomb detach so you can see what this person's saying. Don't look through your own eyes. Hear, hear what this person is trying to tell you. And I don't know what they're going to tell you. They might tell you that, that this person... They might tell you that you're a Virgo. You were just being way too... You were being too much. <laughs> they might not deliver... Their, their delivery might be kind of cold. And they might tell you this this person really... They loved you and you were, you were running away. They might tell you that. They might say you're too avoidant. You need to snap out of it. Or they might tell you... Listen, you're just being a P-U-S-S-Y, Virgo. You're being too wimpy. You need to stand up for yourself, you know, and take the, take the lead in your life, right? I don't know specifically what they're going to tell you, but they're definitely going to bring some clarity to you and support you. Their intention is to support you. They have no ill will towards you, whoever this, this air sign is. Now, it could be air, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, little caveat i need to give you right they might even tell you you're giving too much in this relationship you're giving it you're you you know virgo you always hear people always tell you you're overthinking it you're you're diving down the rabbit hole it's not that deep and you know what fuck people who say that <laughs> but it is what it is and maybe in this particular situation maybe you are over maybe you just need to let it go if you were the one giving too much and not receiving, maybe there was a lack of balance here. Now you need to balance it out, which means if you were giving too much and they were not meeting you halfway, then you need to pull back on your giving if you're over giving. Now, if they were the one who was giving too much and you weren't putting in enough to meet them halfway, then you need to start stepping up your giving. I don't know exactly, but I will say no matter what, it was toxic and was off balance. That's, that's the message spirit's giving me, okay? If you want to accept that message from whoever your person is or what they may be coming to tell you, this, this king of swords. It, they just come, I feel like the king of swords comes in with this tough love energy, that's all. And if you don't want to hear it, then fine, don't. You do what you want. You have that right. All right, Virgo. Yeah, there you go. Ice queen. It could be a female as well. It could be, you know, could be your mother. Your mom might be like, girl, I told you. <laughs> I've been telling you this for years. And I'm giving it to you straight. Or it could be a mother figure, not your own mother. Yeah, and it could be a family member. It could be your daughter or your son as well. They're saying, snap out of it. Get a backbone. Maybe it's a mature male. Maybe it's a father or an older brother. Maybe it's your 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 ex before this one. Could be your kids giving you these truth, truth bombs or a mature woman or one of your sons or nephews. They all, no matter what, they all think you're a true gem. They all think that you're valuable, you're high quality. 
and they have good intentions toward you could be it's someone who is darker than lighter like a dark male could be related to you like a family member or um, maybe somebody you're dating or you're in a relationship with it could be a friend i mean spirit's just like not going to tell you specifically who it is <laughs> i just feel that i'm just feeling that I, I i don't feel like that's the message more about who it is as much as you're going through something and you're trying to make heads or tails of a situation here, a toxic kind of thing, and you have people or a person who's in your life or coming into your life in November that brings you that light bulb moment, that clarity. So you don't, because when you're trying to make heads or tails, you're ten, you tend to be suffering. And sometimes even just like stepping back and leaving that be, eventually it settles itself and, you f and the answer comes to you. And that might be their message to you, but whatever the message, you're not gonna be suffering. You'll get clarity on something and the only reason i feel this is because i feel like you might go through a stage where you're blaming yourself fully it's important to take accountability but you like seriously you you're not the savior it's not completely nothing is ever going to be a hundred percent your fault unless you're beating the shit out of somebody then you're totally in the wrong Okay, but if something just ends or there's a breakup and something didn't work out, it's never, it's impossible to be 100% one person's fault. And even in the other direction. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. That's what I feel like your message is here. So you have Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, double Sag. Okay, let's take a look here. Let's have a look, Virgo. August 24, someone's 38, 1983, 43, 59, 76, 31, or 31st, 12, September 12th, August 30th, or 30, September 14th, 1967 or 67, 51, age or year of birth, 65, 37, 79, September 7th, September 4th again, or 44, or did I say September 4th? No. September 4th. All right. December will be very significant for you this year. And July that passed was very significant. So between July and December, July 2024 to December 2024, powerful time period. That's what I'm hearing. Claire, I'm hearing the name Claire. Okay. Bria or Brianne. Or Brian, Brock, they're saying, Dahlia, or Dala, or Dara, somebody's washing their hair with that Breck shampoo, holla, CW, okay, Walter, or Walton, White, white. Okay. Saeed. Bryce. Carolyn. Jack. Drew. Ridge, <laughs> what, are, what are these like soap opera names? <laughs> Barry, <laughs> my goodness, <laughs> Baron, Bard, could be somebody's last name, Bard. We have Dice, Dice, okay. I said Calorin, Cal Carolyn, I think. Caldwell. I'm hearing Caldwell. 
read. <laughs> and as the world turns, somebody's drinking an iced coffee or an iced ve beverage. Okay. <laughs> Ari. Or maybe an Aries. Connection with an Aries. All right. So, all right. So we've got the initial H. There's a B. O. W. A. R. S. I. E. C. D. W. Again, two W's in someone's name. A. And the letter L. Lita. Harold. Heather. Okay, let's get into your charms. <laughs> charms for Virgo. All right. Oh, yeah, you got the lion again. So, Leo connection. But again, like I said the other day, this is about you roaring or speaking out. Something you need to speak out about, Virgo. You need to open your mouth. I don't know. Are you, do you feel like you've stifled? Or you've been stifling? You need to talk. Speak your truth and be fearless like a lion. This is being fierce. This is the strength. This is self-love, unconditional love, self-respect, and courage. Have the courage to do something that's the opposite of what you would normally do. You also have this costume, like a dress. Uh, there's some connection to a costume or a dress. This kind of looks like Victorian. It could be an old wedding dress, like a wedding gown if you got married in like the 80s or the early 90s, or it's a graduation gown or dress or suit or something, you know, it feels olden. So there might be something that you pull out your wedding dress or you look at some old prom pictures from your past or something like that. You reminisce about maybe how good times used to be. And you also have a starfish. Golden starfish. So there's some, there's a connection to like, I feel like a, like a beach. Or maybe you just have like, I don't know, maybe you have a golden starfish somewhere. There's some kind of connection to that. But it's, it feels very unique. I just want to get a couple more uh, charms. All right. The next thing you have is a heart on a shirt. So that could have something to do with maybe someone is a cardiologist or wearing your heart on your sleeve. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. And you also have the painted skull. So some connection to Halloween or um, Dios los muertos. A celebration of some sort. Okay, let me see. One last charm. One last one for Virgo. Okay, and you have an apple. I'm hearing apple of my eye. Or someone's name is apple. Could be a connection to New York. There's also an energy of, uh, you know, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So self-help, self-healing. There's no worm in this apple, Virgo. All right, my loves. So that's your reading. Going to leave that there. I hope that you enjoy that. If you want to get a personal reading, link in the description box below. Um, if you are a member of the VIP here on my channel, the uh, reading for uh, you guys has already been uploaded. So do make sure you go over to the playlist and check that out. You can catch all those how they feel about you readings are over there. And if you want to become a VIP member, just click the join button. You, there's two tiers. You can be a loyalty member, $2.99 per month. And you can see the perks there. And then if you want to do the VIP bonus where you get extra content, that um, is $9.99 per month. You get all the uh, original perks 
plus the bonus content. So go check that out. Thank you mods for being here. You guys are awesome every single night. And I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye I chat. See ya. You go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. Mm -hmm.